barriers? <laughs> Do you have any barriers stopping you from achieving your goals? Do you have, have you put up barriers to keep you safe? And isn't that interesting? You can use the same word, one's positive and one's negative. So I have built here a barrier. I wanted to have a beautiful view of the mountains, not of my neighbours. Uh, we live on a 20 acre property, but the neighbours have built close, all close that I can see them. So now I have a beautiful wall and all I can see is the mountains. So my barrier is protecting me from a view that I didn't want to see. But the reverse of that, is it possible that we set up barriers, make excuses, come up with reasons, justifications for not doing things? So I always ask people this question. If you had no barriers, nothing stopping you from achieving your goals, would you still achieve your goals? Would you go and do what you want to do? And if you do have barriers stopping you, how can we push them over, blow them up, jump over them, dig under them, get them out the way so that you can achieve your goals? So there's two questions there. Are you using barriers to protect yourself? And I think there's some really important ones for that. I want to protect myself from nasty people. I want to protect myself from the silliness that goes on in the world. I want to protect myself from bad weather. This is another cool thing about my barrier. It's also going to be a wind break because it's a very windy area. So this is a really good barrier to stop bad things. But I don't want to have a barrier that stops me from achieving. I don't want to have barriers in my life make excuses, make justifications for why I don't achieve my goals. How about you? So if you've ever used an excuse, <laughs> and there's lots of them, uh, and is it possible that the biggest excuse that we have is that we don't think we can do it? And I always ask this question, if you don't think you can do it, how will you know that you can? So the barrier is your own headspace. I can't. So the first question is, instead of saying I can't, would it be better to say how can I? What do I need to do to make this possible? But then the next thing is, I don't know that I can do it until I actually go and do it. So how can I, how will I know until I do? So could one of the best barriers to just blow out of the way is this, when should I do it? How should I do it? Plan to do it, work out a way to do it, analyze everything, just bloody do it. <laughs> That's an Australian expression for just do it. <laughs> I would love to be the person that inspires people to get barriers out of their life. How about you? And if our kids are watching what we're doing, if our friends and family are watching what we're doing, we keep coming up with excuses for why we can't do something versus this is how I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. I did it. Let's pick another thing and let's go do it. Uh, and I'll just use my beautiful wall here again. I didn't exactly know what to do. I'm not a gardener. I'm not a landscaper. I'm not an earth mover. But I had a mission and I wanted to achieve the mission of blocking out the view of the neighbor's house so I could just see the mountains. So I had to figure it out. I didn't say, oh, I can't do it because I'm not a landscaper. I just put my head to work and I said, how can I do that? What do I need to do to make sure that I can have a beautiful view rather than my neighbor's view? And I'm just using that as a simple example of if you ask your brain to help you, is it possible that it will? If you tell your brain that you can't, is it possible that your brain will agree with you? So instead of justification, barriers, excuses, I can't, how about we just change that to I can, I will, and I did. And a lot of people say to me, and I, I, I use this as a, it's an interesting headspace. A lot of people say to me, Rowie, but that's just, I can't do that. It's not the way I'm wired. It's not possible for me. I find it really difficult. Two words that at the moment I'm finding, I find really interesting, uh, struggling and overwhelmed. And I hear that quite regularly. Rowie, I'm struggling. Rowie, I'm overwhelmed. Well, I'm going to ask the question again, could they be barriers that you're putting into your own brain? Because if I tell my brain that I'm struggling, how can it possibly be motivated to get going? If I tell my brain that I'm overwhelmed, how can it possibly ex be excited to be, well, I don't want to be underwhelmed or overwhelmed. I just want to be doing the stuff I want to do. How about you? So is it important to use different words rather than, and could our words be a barrier that's stopping us from achieving our goals? Because we say can't instead of can. We say struggling and overwhelmed instead of I'm excited about the challenge. And that's an interesting headspace that I always put myself into and could it be helpful? How can I overcome this challenge? How can I get better, stronger, wiser because of this thing that's happening to me rather than whinging and moaning and complaining about this thing that's happening to me? So your barriers, your, your excuses, your justifications, your I can't do it. 
how about this great question? If you didn't have any barriers, if you didn't, if you couldn't make an excuse, you weren't allowed to, somebody was going to shoot you if you made an excuse. You had to come up with a way. There's a great question. What if I had to produce a solution to this? What if I had to come up with a, an overcoming of this challenge? What if I have to achieve this? What would I have to do to achieve it? So we can put barriers in the way or we can decide we're going to do it anyway. We can get angry, annoyed, frustrated, fascinated, anxious and stressed about all the things that are trying to stop us or we could just become the I do person and could that start with the words that we use rather than I can't, let's say I can, rather than saying overwhelmed and stressed and, and struggling, how about I may, and I love saying this, I, I wake up most mornings and every time I exercise with power and passion and energy, which is every single time, I always finish my session with this, yes, you're a legend, I put my arms above my head, uh, it's, it's telling my body the whole, that whole combination of get puffed, lift heavy or both, and then tell yourself you're a legend and put your arms above your head because that's what winners do, isn't it? Every time somebody wins something or they achieve something, every time, if you were to Google success or winning or champion, you would find somebody with their arms above their head. So how about that? How about instead of excuses and barriers and I can't do it, let's change it to I can, I will, I did, I'm a legend. Woohoo! <laughs> My name's Rowie. Thank you for coming to Romax. It's all about living life to the max. That's what I'm here for every day. Not half max, not three quarters max, not sub, sub, sub max. How about live your life to the max? Have a career that you love. Be healthy, fit and strong. Earn the amount of money that you want to earn and be financially free and make sure that you have great relationships. People who respect you and don't tell you that you can't, they tell you that you can. And could the most important person to say, I can, be you. Woohoo! I feel good. No, 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 because I can't see the neighbors. Woohoo! Look at my barrier. Yay, I love it. Ha <laughs> ha.